Hi guys, welcome to K-Drama Hangouts, where we review your favorite Korean dramas episode by episode. My name is Melody. And I'm Sarai. Hi. <laughs> Alright, so today we're going to be finishing up the final two episodes of Cheese in the Trap, episode 15 and 16. If you missed our last review of episodes 13 and 14, be sure and check out the link below to catch up with us, okay? So... This was the finale. <laughs> Don't really know what to say about it, so let's just go. <laughs> there is too much to say about what happened. Like, I don't even know where to begin. Okay. Or, um, or what didn't happen. I don't know. However you want to look at it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What did happen or what didn't happen. I'm like, just, I'll start with just, giving my reaction at the end um, when we finally saw Soul in her room and then the end scene comes on where her mom calls her for dinner and then we see the unread email all of a sudden become red. Then it cuts off and then the credits roll and then I'm kind of dumbfounded because when I look, I look at like the ending and I'm just like... <laughs> Did that just happen? Exactly. <laughs> Me, exactly. I'm sitting here like, where's the rest? Where did it go? Like, I couldn't even breathe for a second. I'm like, <laughs> uh? <laughs> yeah. I was just, I stood there for a good five minutes even after the credits finished, still wondering if there was like, you know how when you watch the Marvel? Yes. <laughs> Maybe there'll be a tag at the end of the credits. <laughs> Thinking that there's going to be some little ending yes. scene or, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I, I, was, I was definitely one of those fans who was surprised by the ending. Even though I already went into these last two episodes expecting there to be a rushed kind of ending. Yeah. I expected that already, I figured. But I was hoping that there would be a complete end. Not a, okay, think about what you think is going to happen. Imagine it in your brain kind of ending, you know? Uh, it was kind of disappointing and unsatisfying after all the emotions that they put me through this whole show. Too many emotions from up to down, from first lead to second lead. Like, I was going crazy this whole show. And then to leave me stranded, I felt like I was being broken up by email. <laughs> <laughs> like literally yeah I was I went through and was reading some of the comments on drama fever like on the the endings and everything and some people were like oh I love this ending I love how it's an I'm an open ending like you know I love open ending endings and I'm like you know to play devil's advocate okay I'm cool with open ending endings too like I like I'm fine with twist ending, plot twist endings, and, um, or, you know, just open-ended endings, like, you kind of finish it for yourself, but it was, it was too open-ended, like, an open, a perfectly fine open ending, which I wish would have happened, is they at least stop in front of each other on the street. Thank that you! That oh my gosh! I needed her to, I needed them to see each other again, face to face, yes. I needed them to see each other. Okay, like, this ending was just too open-ended, like, or, I don't, I just. Like, you remember the scene where they're walking down the street and they pass each other. Completely That's when each other. I thought. Oh, they're going to meet each other again, you know? Oh, they're going to see. She's going to look back. He's going to look back. They're going to stop in the middle of the street, and they're going to see each other. If they get And then cut. Like, that would have yeah, been fine. exactly. If they would have been that fine. Me, I would have been fine, too. Like, I would have been okay. 
but they didn't yeah. give me that and I was kind of like sad <laughs> I was just like really or if they I was really upset I completely feel like they wrapped up everything they wrapped everything up with a pretty little bow except for the main characters yes they, in ho had his ending and ha had that her ending um um Laura Laura and uh the lackey had their ending but we the two main characters the main couple did not have their ending like they weren't they weren't wrapped up like they you weren't even like halfway wrapped up it was just like thrown in a paper bag and then they handed it to you like I didn't like it at all not at all okay other than what we agree to be a horrible ending what were some of your favorite moments out of these episodes Do you have any favorite moments so <laughs> I'm not sure because the ending kind of took me for a whirlwind, so I forgot about everything else because of the ending. Um, maybe the only thing I can think of right now is, like, the fact that um, in Ho, like, story finished nice. <laughs> yeah. And Bora and Untek finally opened that, like, clothing shop, and they're, like, together still. Yeah. I guess their closings were really, like, helpful, you mm -hmm. know, and and good, and I like them. And I'm so glad Inho got to at least um, play. But speaking of that, actually, um, I know we're talking about good stuff, but I have to say this, okay? <laughs> First of all... Soul was supposed to go to his concourse, okay? Where the heck was she? Thank you! Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you! I don't, I can't remember if we discussed this in the cacao I chat or not, but I thought the same thing. She went to him and she promised him like five different times. I promised you I'm gonna cheer you on. I'm still gonna be there. I'm gonna keep my promise. Da, 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 da. And he starts playing and he looks out in the audience and he sees, you know, his old teacher, his current teacher, his sister, and his sister's boyfriend or whoever he is at that point. And I'm like, okay, where's Soul? And then it cuts to Soul at the noodle shop. I'm like, what are you Why doing there? there? You just told him you were going to keep your, his promise. I was like, I understand. Like, the scene before that was kind of like a, a you know, let's mutually go our separate ways kind of scene. But if I'm not mistaken, she even promised him in that scene that she was going to be at his concourse. And I'm like, what? I, was I was severely disappointed that she wasn't there. Severely disappointed. Me too. I mean, okay, in, in all reality, right, even though this is a drama, but in all reality, I would understand why Yoo Jung and In Ho and In Ha would all cut ties, you know? Mm -hmm. it It's a given. They all needed to cut ties. It just yeah. wasn't going to work out, you know? And reality comes like that. Sometimes you got to cut ties. Yep. Um, but I feel like, I really didn't want Inho to cut ties with her family. Like, I was really saddened by that because I felt like for the first time, Inho really got to see what a real family is like. Yeah. And a family that really loved him and wanted him around and thought of him great, you know? And she's supposed to be this friend. And granted, he likes her and she doesn't like him and he's trying to get over his feelings or whatever. But, I mean, in my opinion, yes, Yoo Jung doesn't, you know, whatever. is is whatever. He doesn't like him or, or whatnot. But they kind of ended fine. So why can't you be, like, a friend with him and let him stay with your family? My blow me away just event, I guess, in uh, episode 15 was Inha's meltdown because she did an amazing job with that. 
she went absolutely berserk. And I was just sitting here like, oh my gosh, like this chick needs to chill. I was like, she is going crazy. She's losing it. Like, I was really um, rooting for her still up until that point. You know, like I had said in previous episodes that I understand where Inha's coming from because of her history. Um, so I was hoping, you know, that like this breakthrough was happening for her. Mm -hmm. And she needed a breakthrough because all she would worry about is money this, money that, I need this, I need that, daddy get me this, whatever, whatever, whatever. Acting like a spoiled little brat, right? So I thought this wake-up call, even as harsh as it was, I was just happy because I thought that this was the moment yeah. where she was going to learn. And then she didn't learn anything from it, you know? And that is makes me mad. Okay, so as a whole, we finished this drama. Um, do you have the whole drama, a whole heart, a half heart, or no heart? So I started this drama <laughs> with a whole heart because of the webtoon, right? And I'm one of those fans who I was reading the webtoon, and I'm still reading the webtoon, and the webtoon hasn't finished yet. So, um... We don't know what's going to happen in the webtoon, but as far as like now the drama ending and the drama has taken a detour from the webtoon completely in another direction, <laughs> um, this makes me give the drama a half heart. Um, I still love the drama and I'm still going to give it um, some points because of the fact that from episode one, to about episode 15, you kept me in, you kept me focused. I was everywhere and nowhere all at the same time. I was first lead, second lead, blah, blah, blah. You know, I was going crazy and I loved it and I loved how it captured me, but the ending really hurt me. And for me, endings are very important because it's the last impression I take with me. So that's why I knock it to a half heart. Mm hmm I can't remember what I gave this. I think I gave it a whole heart. Um, I am also going to give it a half heart, um, mostly because the ending. <laughs> it's, it's all because of the ending. Um, I feel like these last two episodes were actually four episodes crushed into two, um, and that completely turned me off. Um, the drama, the rest of the drama, the whole drama in and of itself, it was a good drama. I, it was interesting, you know, I'm, I'm trying to figure out the lead character the whole time, like figure out their relationship. The second lead was an awesome, you know, um, the acting was really good, uh, but these, uh, up until, like you said, but for me it's up until episode 14. Um, episode 15 and 16 were just like 15, 16, 17, and 18 all together. <laughs> and it just cut. Like it just stopped in the middle of a thought. And you, you didn't finish the thought. Which, like I said before, I'm okay with you not finishing the thought, but you got to kind of help me finish the thought. Um, so I'm giving it a half heart. Um, it's... It's one of those where I'm like, it's a good drama, but it's got a little asterisk sign beside it. <laughs> like, uh, keep in mind this part right here, you know. Um, so I give it a half heart. All right, you guys. That's it for this episode and for Cheese in the Trap. I hope you guys had some reactions as much as we did or totally different. Tell us what was going on in your head with these ending two episodes. You can always put your comments down in the link below. We love to read them. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, invite your friends. And we're going to be starting a new drama. So please like us on our Facebook page so that you can be the insider into what drama we're doing next. You might know it. So stay tuned. But until then, keep it dramatic, you guys. Bye. Bye.